Hi, welcome to Luna Laundry Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a uh, weekly collective, not weekly collective, weekly general reading for cancer. You can have cancer in your sun, moon, rising. Okay? So, these readings are very general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Okay? Everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. Let's see. What is, let's, let's get some love messages, please, for my cancers. There's an obsession going on. Either you're obsessed with somebody or someone's obsessed with you. Boundaries. You need to have boundaries with somebody who's obsessed with you, cancer. Oh, they do. They have a choice to make. Yeah, you're obsessed over someone's choice to make. You need to have boundaries with somebody who might be an attention whore, okay? Because it might just lead to um, you being heartbroken, Okay. All right, let's look at your money. Let's see, Spirit. Show me Cancer's money, please. Fired and slow and steady wins the race. So somebody here might be losing their job or have lost their job. And it's a faded event. But slow and steady wins the race, right? So you, I feel like you're going to be making something else or doing something else. Um, you being fired from this position might help you to do something better. Like create something of your own. Like you become an entrepreneur or whatever, okay? So there's that. It, it sparks your uh, innovation to be able to have your own career. Let's see. Let's look at some timing here for these messages. These are some oracles that I've created. Now these are prototypes for ones that I will be making next year. Okay, so you have unknown and fall. So there's something here in the unknown that you don't know about in this fall season. Um, okay, what else for timing? Something unknown, okay? But it will be very soon in the fall that you will know or find out about something. It's about July of last year, or this could be about you, be you being a cancer, or if you're dealing with another cancer, okay? So let's keep going. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please show me what's going on for cancers this week in November 2021, please? Now, these can be actually extended out, okay? Um, they're really timeless, but I put them for the, um, for organizational purposes, really. Let's see. High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. You're also keeping information to yourself as well. This is someone who knows the secret but isn't speaking on it. Empress in Reverse. This is someone who is too financially dependent on somebody. we got a Taurus Libra here. You might secretly know that there is a mother figure or a... Or a wife figure involved. Or there's somebody here who's too financially dependent on you. Or you are too financially dependent on them. Or it could even be emotionally as well. Or if this is someone who might be pregnant but they don't want to have any more kids. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is some this is Virgo energy. But this is somebody who is losing like family legacy or family wealth or doesn't have finances. This is talked about bankruptcy and being flat broke. Lovers here, Gemini energy. Somebody here has a choice, but like we said in the love oracle, someone's got a choice to make between two or a contract. Either they want to stay married or, or they don't. Someone here is letting go of a lover, um, but they're doing it discreetly because they don't want someone else to find out. Also, someone might be losing their job because I have the eight of pentacles here in the reverse here. Capricorn energy. So let's see who you might be dealing with. Who is Cancer potentially dealing with? A Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. A Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. You can have in your chart. They can have in their chart. A Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. We also have you at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. I'll take it. Let's see. Or you could be doing another Cancer. Let's see. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius... What is Sagittarius's intentions towards cancer, please? Well, they want to reveal a secret to you, or they want the, the deception to end. Okay, friendship in reverse. Somebody here is not your friend, or this Sagittarius is not your friend. And they're going to reveal this to you, possibly. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, father figure, this person might be your father, or they might be a husband, or maybe they maybe maybe you want someone to be the father. Um, yes, they are the father. 
never it is happening right now and this person's either they think you're a liar or an aries thinks you're a liar or you think that they're a liar but this person's gonna lie to you about something okay if you don't want a virgo what's virgo's intentions towards cancer liberation they want to break free from this they want to leave they want to head back to a wife or a mother figure here Maybe they got three kids and you don't know about it. We also have libido here. They want liberation from libido. Maybe they have some type of addiction here. The home in reverse. They don't want to wreck their home. They want to release addictions and toxicity and have a leap of faith here. Also, they could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aries. Um, all right, cross watch. If you're dealing with a Cancer, what's Cancer's intentions here? The Sage. They want to learn from their past mistakes here. They. This is also Virgo energy. They want uh, cross watcher this. Cancer wants a Virgo, or they are very wise and they've learned a lot about something. We also have the puzzle here. This person knows the secret to this puzzle, or they know what's going on. This Virgo could. Yes, it's in reverse means no. Maybe they don't, but they're going to try to figure it out. This Cancer might be doing this. Yeah, birth. Somebody here may not be wanting to have any more children or grow something with you. They're confused, maybe. Give me one more for cancer towards cross, the cross watcher. Beauty and death. Someone is afraid of getting old as well. Or maybe they think that they're too old to be a mother again. Or cancer, that could be you, or you could be doing another cancer. All right, I'm going to give you some guidance. Anything else, please, for my cancers regarding this reading? The siren. A temptation may lead you astray, so be careful. Watch out for temptations here. Um, the chalice. Rejuvenation and fulfillment. You might be tempted to get some type of work done or to, I don't know, to go out drinking maybe. There's some form of temptation or somebody has some form of temptation. They use it to mask their feelings. True feelings are mask. The queen, love, and prosperity here. And then the green man. It says... Uh, the forces of nature favor you. So somebody here might need to tap into their emotions, whatever their predominant. It could be fire or whatever the elements are. It could be water. It could be your water sign. So maybe you need to get into your own element. Or maybe you need to go hiking, possibly. It could be doing an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn as well. But somebody here is hiding their feelings. That needs to be revealed. Anything else for my cancers, please, regarding this reading for guidance? Okay, a fiery climax approach here, full moon in Aries. We did have that recently. We also have meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. We have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. And we hold your vision, fixed moon. All right, this is what I have for you, Cancers. I hope this helps. If you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit all notifications, that way you know the next time I upload. And as always... Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Until next time.